Okay, I want to talk about a mentality. I want to talk about something that causes arguments if you're not careful, but the fact is both of these, both of these views are excellent, depending on your personality. Stay tuned, check it out in a moment. My goal is that as many people as possible can find out about this information and I need your help. I need your help to make this available. The more people who hit the thumbs up, the more people who view, the more people who comment, all of those things go into making these videos easily findable. Comment, leave a message, and also give it a thumbs up. Let's do this and let's help everyone out who needs the help. your classroom or our classroom. What that simply means is, is it going to be simply your stuff that the students are using, or is it our stuff? Are we a collective? Do we all work together? I'm saying the, the second one in kind of a weird way because I tried the second one, and for me, it did not work. But there are thousands of teachers who try that second approach of it's our classroom, and because of their personality, it does work. And it is successful. And you know, success really depends on the teacher and their personality. Community can be established in both ways. If I say it's my classroom, and you're gonna respect my stuff, well I don't say it like that, I let them use my things. So my markers, my highlighters, my, because of the respect they have for me, they take care of those things better. When I personally tried doing the, it's our classroom, I had markers on the floor, I had stuff thrown around, because it was theirs and they treated it like they did some of the stuff they have in their homes. And I had a difficult time combating that. Now I have another teacher, one of my best friends in the world, and she does treat it as our classroom. And she's able to instill that same respect of proper and things and feelings by calling it our classroom and making it their classroom and that is just fine do what works but I'm telling you there's two two ways to look at it you'll find that you have adopted one of these two methods with your classroom and there it's either effective or it's not I would suggest if you're living in an ineffective classroom environment you might want to try the other approach that we've discussed here and remember I enjoy learning with you, I enjoy teaching with you, and together we can take over the world.